Welcome to the Brash One, where we settle the score in all the news, rumors, headlines, gossip, speculation, developments, the hottest WWE hourly right here on this very channel. You can question, you can doubt, you can conclude, you can text it, you can sex it, you can do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that you're leaving your comments and your opinions because here on Show and View, we're always uncensored. And sometimes we do go into some uncharted territory here on the Brash the Breeze. And if you want it, somebody that is going to give it to you the way it is, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to mimic it. I'm going to throw my own spin on it because this is Sean View. Become a channel member today. Donate in the comment section because we have a monumental day of rumors and news and headlines and get, get gossip, breaking news, all the hottest headlines. And you're going to get it right here on Sean View Entertainment after you hit my intro. Hit it. Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. Huge developments coming in about WrestleMania. Massive developments as it concerns the backstage reaction with an AEW for airing the CM Punk All-In confrontation on AEW Dynamite. Over the weekend, AEW announced uh, intentions to broadcast footage of the CM Punk incident involving Jack Perry from All-In. Following conversations with individuals within WWE, according to Steve Carrier, the reaction to this move by AEW is largely seen as misguided, and stupid. Amidst the chatter, there's a prevailing optimism regarding the potential benefits for Jack Perry, both in crowd reception and career advancement. However, there are also expressions of frustration among AEW talent, stemming from a sense of being caught in the crossfire amidst escalating tensions across promotions. Despite the disclosure, there is a consensus within AEW that this development isn't a company killer with the expectations of AEW anticipating and negating the uh, accompanying online fever. fever. As the dust settles, the um, industry braces for the next chapter in this ongoing saga. Show and View Entertainment, along with the dirt sheets, the websites, and newsletters, Ringside News, will keep you updated and then know if more information becomes available. What were your true thoughts on the AEW's decision to go along and show the altercation between CM Punk and Jack Perry? Ladies and gentlemen, you want to talk about damage control? You want to talk about one of the dumbest ideas in AEW history. You want to talk about the rise and fall of AEW, ladies and gentlemen. You're seeing it right in live time. Also, AEW is confirming the remaining dates and locations for 2024 pay-per-view events and the reason for AEW revamping their presentation on live television. Kind of like the WWE will be re revamping their live uh, television as it concerns the staging, the ramping, the Titan Tron, the WWE going to this with a completely different mindset. Also, Dustin Rhodes, Goldust, whatever you want to call him, the half brother of Cody Rhodes, not prepared to conclude his in ring career just yet. Also, massive cataclysmic updates as it concerns Stephanie McMahon, ladies and gentlemen, and Linda McMahon. Listen to this one. It was actually Stephanie McMahon and Linda McMahon who were spotted with Charlotte Flair backstage at WrestleMania 40. There is rumors and speculation that Linda McMahon and Stephanie McMahon could be on-screen characters down the line, but that is only rumor and hearsay. Also, AEW Fight Forever encountered numerous issues prior to their release. Kind of like they're going through issues in their real life. Not only in video games is AEW going through trouble, they're going through trouble in real life. Also, top WWE superstars featured on the SummerSlam 2024 poster. One name, one person, one star's face not on that poster, Roman Reigns. Again, there was a lot of rumors and speculation that Roman Reigns was going to appear on the final SmackDown before Survivor Series. But again, things could change. Also, Karrion Cross demonstrates ankle lock technique to snap a baseball bat in Will Ospreay's involvement in his anti-Triple H promo on the 410 AEW Dynamite. There's said to be no heat on him for those words. And, ladies and gentlemen, the identity of the person responsible for showing the all-in footage involving CM Punk from Monday Night Raw. We're going to get into this right now, ladies and gentlemen. And what is being seen as not the smartest idea, I've been checking with people from PW Torch, People in AEW and I have been told that this was not something the Bucks were in favor of doing. It wasn't their idea. It was Tony Khan's idea that he wanted this out there. 
And again, just a very dumb, stupid decision. Much like many of Tony Khan's decisions. Mercedes Monet breaks silence after being attacked on AEW Dynamite. Is she taking a break? Is she going away? Is she being written off television? Why did they do this? Also, the reason for the WrestleMania 40 behind the curtain documentary delay. There was a massive delay. Also, John Moxley, Dean Ambrose, massive update claims that he is the most disrespected wrestler in professional wrestling history. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Also, a massive death in the world of WWE, in the world of sports, an icon, a lot of controversy about this person, a lot of backlash, a man that was primarily blacklisted, kind of like Chris Benoit, kind of like Vince McMahon due to the controversy and all the different uh, variables that go into it. Ladies and gentlemen, O.J. Simpson, the star of arch archial footage used during WrestleMania's Hollywood Backlot Brawl. Also, never forget that WWE once ran a poll to ask fans if O.J. Simpson was guilty or not on Raw and that the original plan for WrestleMania 12 was going to be O.J. Simpson against Rowdy Roddy Piper and not Goldust. So as you can see, O.J. Simpson played a major part, an intricate part in WWE history. So to call him a WWE star wouldn't be way off because the man had something major to do with the WWE. But as we all know, uh, he was a killer football player. We know he was a killer football player and uh, in more ways than one. But the fact that O.J. Simpson versus Roddy Piper was pitched for WrestleMania, that shows you the history, the accolades. That just shows you O.J. Simpson's history with not only WWE, but with WrestleMania. And with WrestleMania just passing, some say it couldn't have happened to a better guy. But ladies and gentlemen, you cannot ignore the legendary football career as well as his tie-in with WWE and, and what that was all about and what that presented at the end of the day. Make no mistake about it. So ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts. Your comments, your opinions, where we keep you up to date and keep you up to speed on all things WWE. And we even spice in some AEW if the news in WWE seems to be a little bit slow. Which on some days, some days, it's rare. It can happen, but it, 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 it can be a little bit of a, instead of a sizzle, it can be kind of just a drizzle. You know what I'm saying. But in from there, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. In honor of the recent OJ Simpson news. Uh, O.J. Simpson is now trending online worldwide, and, and, and for good reason. I mean, we, I mean, we could get into the controversy and everything that he was stood for. But listen, this one just coming through the desk of the brash and the brazen. AEW intentionally cuts out CM Punk all-in footage from their YouTube channel, which garnered thousands and thousands of dislikes on AEW's YouTube channel. Also, AEW did leave out the all-in footage allegedly showing CM Punk's threats to Tony Khan on Dynamite and... Adam Cole hits back at Body Shamer, who claimed he should have stayed in the WWE. And Eric Bischoff clowns AEW after airing all-in footage. Again, right now, this morning, AEW is the laughing stock of the entire industry, the entire wrestling world this morning. And AEW was actually working overtime to remove online footage of CM Punk and Jack Perry's brawl from All In as they wanted to be the ones to showcase it and put it up there for the world to see, which is exactly what we got. And The Rock is outlining five reasons not to mess with the final boss. And WWE is sparking massive speculation with a cryptic message in a now deleted tweet over on X. And the game Triple H is building anticipation for WWE backlash with a new poster showcasing and featuring the brand new Universal Heavyweight Champion of the World, Cody Rhodes. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions, more to come. We keep you know on the hottest, the latest, the greatest in WWE. This is your number one place to be. Plenty more to come.